You know, it's really, really hard to make content for a game that has no updates, no news, no nothing whatsoever. What's up, guys? My name is Tugan. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a little discussion on Mortal Kombat 11. We haven't done this in a while, have we? Uh, no, I I've been working around the channel a little bit, experimenting, doing some new things. If you guys want to hear more about that, watch until the end of the video, and I'll talk about that a little bit there. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, where the hell is Combat Pack 3? Wh where is this shit? We haven't had a real update on Mortal Kombat 11 in months at this point. I mean, not even a word from the community manager, and we'll get to that, trust me. Uh, not a word from Ed Boon, not a word from anybody. The only thing we've had for this game in the past several months is just voting on our favorite fatality uh, friendship, I think, voting for Ed Boon's favorite fucking Mortal Kombat character. Like, we all haven't known that for 28 years at this point. Uh, it, it's just kind of mind-boggling. So, at this point, let's go over everything we do know about Combat Pack 3 before we get into, like, the entire discussion of the video. Uh, Combat Pack 3 was pretty much a guaranteed thing at one point in time. Uh, in the game's actual, you know, game files, thanks to a good friend over on Twitter and very known data miner for Mortal Kombat and NRS games in general, the Thinny, we do know that there are five unused character slots still in the Mortal Kombat 11 game files. What we don't know is who those characters are, when the release date for them is, uh, if, if, if they've even started work on these characters, we have no idea. We have had a few, hopefully I have all the receipts for all this shit and I didn't like delete it while I've been cleaning my computer so you guys are seeing what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, but we've also had a few pictures posted by game devs on Twitter saying that they were back in the, you know, mo motion recording of, I can't remember, motion capture studio. Uh, that they were back in the motion capture studio. We've had multiple teases, I feel like at least, from other game devs on Twitter changing their profile pictures and entire profiles around to represent one character and that being Takeda. So, what the hell, man? It seemed, it, it really did seem like this combat pack was a guaranteed thing up until recently but it's been dead silence no comms no nothing for mortal kombat 11 in months now do i personally feel like a uh, combat pack 3 is still gonna happen yeah i do uh that's not really the problem and while it is the topic of this video it's not the point of this video I do feel like Mortal Kombat 11 Combat Pack 3 is definitely still happening at some point in time. I feel like it's going to be revealed within the next couple of weeks. And I'm being very, very optimistic when I say that. But I feel like it could be revealed in the next couple of weeks. But my point is, is it's been so long that no one really cares. No one cares about this anymore. And that's rough to say, but we haven't had any new content or an update since November, what, 17th of 2020? My dudes, it is March 28th of 2021, and we've still had nothing since then. Nobody gives a damn about this anymore. I make, I made uh, a lot of content for this game daily, sometimes twice and three times a day, hyping people up, keeping people excited, trying to keep the community uh, there and, and, and waiting on something. But it comes to a point where there's four months of silence where even I stopped giving a shit about the game. I haven't touched Mortal Kombat 11 in over a month, almost two, because there's nothing there i've played all of the characters multiple times the way that this game is designed and it's kind of like the same story with more marvel's avengers the way that game is designed the simplicity of it you need more content to keep you coming back and keep you enjoying the game when a game is not designed for long-term play such as a game like street fighter 5 or tekken which have they've even received content more sporadic not sporadically but uh, more close together, I guess, for lack of smart words. They receive content close together than Mortal Kombat 11 has, and they are games built to last longer, so there is more there on the base of the game. Mortal Kombat 11 was not built for that, neither was Marvel Avengers, which is why Marvel Avengers is having problems the same as Mortal Kombat 11. And I think one of the main problems is, is the content creators kept this game alive longer than even the community manager. I love Tyler Lansdowne, I've watched... Uh, 
all of the combat casks for as long as I've been a fan of Mortal Kombat and Injustice, especially when I was hardcoring to Injustice and uh, the pro scene. And even on Mortal Kombat 11, I, you know, I've made content for the game. I've watched the combat cast to keep you guys updated. Uh, and respect to this dude, respect to the job that he does that we don't know about. But as far as being a community manager on the actual community sites, such as Twitter and Discord and Reddit, wherever the hell else there is a Mortal Kombat community, I have not seen this guy post about anything uh, to do with the Mortal Kombat 11 community. I've only seen, uh, seen him post about sports shit. Like sports and sports and sports, retweeting Mortal Kombat 11 events and polls for Mortal Kombat 11. I've seen him maybe interact with the Mortal Kombat community a few times in the past few months. And that to me is ridiculous. Again, mad respect to the job that he does that we actually don't know about or don't see. That is a core aspect of that job to keep the community interactive uh, or to stay interactive with the community to keep them excited for the game and keep them you know coming back and knowing that something is coming or knowing that the game is still alive and knowing that the game still has support and my view is that job ends when the next game is announced or even releases uh, that's when your new job begins on that specific game, when you're answering questions about that, when you're uh, hyping people up and keeping people excited for that, when you're interacting, answering questions for that, when, you know, that game is announced, especially when it comes to NRS games, because they don't usually have this long of a lifespan. Uh, but that has not been done. The community is all but gone. Everybody I have in my Discord who came to my channel and came into my Discord and became fans and friends of me because I covered Mortal Kombat 11 are no longer there for Mortal Kombat in general. We talk about everything else under the sun, everything besides Mortal Kombat, and I feel like that's failings of not only the community manager, of course, because he has an overhead who tells him what to do but everybody at nrs we are in the dark and we have been for the past four months to the point where when this does drop nobody's really gonna give a shit so combat pack 3 will we be excited for it once it's announced of course are we gonna go back and play it of course is everyone uh who was excited two months ago gonna go back and play it probably not man because they're off playing different games um, I, I don't feel like there's a whole lot here to be interested for anymore. Yes, Combat Pack 3, I'm, I'm excited for it in uh, some accounts. I can make Mortal Kombat content again. I can enjoy the game uh, from a game franchise that I love a lot again. Um, but that's not helping the issues that this game has really put fully into motion and um, shown fully that, you know, this these guys are not very good at communicating to the point where i'm pretty sure like three out of the five major uh content creators that i know for this game have made a type of video like this like exact same type like where the hell's combat pack 3 and that's sad to me so i've been getting a lot of questions you know where's the combat pack 3 content where's the mortal kombat content it's hard to make content for something that's pretty much dead. But yeah, guys, if you're not interested in the channel update, that's where the hell Combat Pack 3 is. I, I don't think I was... I hope you guys didn't think that I was speaking literally. Like, when's it gonna be released? Like, I'm speaking figuratively as in where it's at in the sense of, you know, where it stands with the community, if that makes any sense. Uh, but that's where this video ends if you're not interested in the channel update. If you are, welcome to the channel update. Uh, so yeah, you can probably tell that we're, we're changing around the channel a little bit, we're uh, integrating Marvel into the channel, we're doing these shorts, I want to get back into doing some MK shorts when MK picks up again, but I will get on some Mortal Kombat shorts, but I'm having a lot of fun with Marvel uh, integrating that into the channel, we've had some of our best views in, you know, ever really doing these shorts, and it really has showed me that, you know, it's something that I like doing and I like talking about, so I hope you guys are enjoying the Marvel content, if you, ha if you have any suggestions, suggestions for like other content you'd like to see dc um i don't know I anything uh leave that in the comments down below i love tv i love movies so if you guys have like a big universe you want me to jump into and make videos on let me know that in the comments down below but that's gonna do it for this video thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video my name is tootin i've been your host and i'll see you guys next time peace out